Welcome. Let us work out this question on linear motion. This is KCC paper 1, 2005, question number 17. It reads, the distance between towns M and N is 280 kilometers. A car and a lorry travel from M to N. The average speed of the lorry is 20 kilometers an hour less than that of the car. The lorry takes one hour, 10 minutes more than that of the car to travel from M to N. Part A of the question if the speed of the lorry is x kilometers per hour, find x. Part B of the question. The lorry left M at 8.15 a.m. The car left town M and overtook the lorry at 12.15 p.m. Calculate the time the car left town M. So let's begin with part one of the question. The first thing we're going to do is to write down the expressions of the speeds of the car and the lorry we're given the speed the speed of so the speed of the lorry this is given as x kilometers per hour and the average speed of the lorry is 20 kilometers hour less than that of the car therefore the speed of the car will be given by the expression x plus 20 that is step number one. Step number two is to obtain the time taken by the car and the time taken by the lorry. So that we'll be able to write down this expression. The lorry takes one hour, ten minutes more. So to get that or to write that expression, we have to obtain the time, time by, time taken by the lorry. And time is given by distance, which is 280, divided by the speed. Then we get the time taken by the car, which is 280, divided by x plus 20. So those are the expressions of the times taken by the car and the lorry. Now, the lorry takes one hour, ten minutes more. So what expression? So it means when you take the time taken by the lorry, which is 280 divided by x, we subtract the time taken by the car. That should give one hour the difference, one hour, 10 minutes. One hour, 10 minutes is equivalent to 70 minutes. 70 minutes converted to hours will give 70 over 60, which is 7 over 6. So this expression now represents this time difference. The lorry taking one hour, ten minutes more. It should give us, when we work it out, this expression, it should give us the value of x. And that is what is required in this part of the question. Now to work out this, we are going to work out the left hand side. This is the left hand side. Uh, by getting the LCM the LCM, the least common multiple of x and uh, x plus 20, which will give x, x plus 20. So that expression you work out using that uh, LCM, you should give um, x, x plus 20. This is uh, 280, x plus 20 minus 280x that should give 7 over 6 now after getting that expression we can again proceed and get the LCM the LCM of x x plus 20 and 6 that is the denominator and these uh, should give 6x x plus 20 we multiply both sides of the equation by this lcm multiply both sides both the left hand side and the right hand side by this lcm and when you do that we're going to obtain six these are uh, this is the left hand side get 280 x plus 20 
minus 280x. That is the left hand side. I've started with the left hand side. So these will, when you multiply and open the brackets, you should be able to get 1680x plus 33, 600, then minus 1680x. That is the left hand side. And you notice these, this will give 33, 600. Since we have this one and this one, we give zero. Now let's go to the right hand side, the right hand side of the equation. So multiplying these, this will be 7 multiply over 6, you multiply by, this is a 6x, x plus 20. This one should give 7x. plus 140 this is uh, 140 x should give 140 x so that is what you get from the right hand side so therefore the equation we are going to get is uh, the left hand side is 33 600 then the right hand side 7 x squared plus 140x. We can reorganize this equation. You can see it's a quadratic equation. When you reorganize this equation, we get 7x squared plus 140x subtract 33, 600 is equals to 0. We have organized the equation in order to form the standard uh, quadratic equation. Now, this is the equation you're going to solve, and it should give uh, the values of x. This one will give us two values of x, upon which we shall decide which will be the value of x, the final value of x. We can simplify it by dividing all through by 7. Dividing everything by 7, we get x squared plus 20x minus 48 100 this one should give zero uh, we will I'm assuming that we have done uh, how to solve we have uh, gone through this how to solve quadratic equations by factorization method these will so here we are going to go very fast um, this will give um, x squared x squared minus 60x plus 80x minus 4800 is equals to 0. And therefore, when you factor out x, this will be x minus 60 plus 80x minus 60. So this gives x plus 80, x minus 60 is equal to 0. Therefore, we have two values of x. So the first value of x will be x, it can be negative 80, or x be 60. So we are going to ignore this one. Since we are getting the speed and speed will cannot be given by a negative so we're going to take the positive value uh, because we are getting the value of the speed you cannot get a negative speed since this one is not a deceleration so therefore the value of x is uh, 60 kilometers per hour so that is the solution for part one let's go to part two uh, for part two, 
the lorry left M town M at 8.15, the car left town M and overtook the lorry at 12.15 p.m. Calculate the time the car left town M. So the first thing we're going to do is to get the time taken. So this is the distance. This is uh, M. And this is N. So the lorry left at 8.15 a.m. And this is where maybe the car overtook the lorry. This is at 12.15. 12.15 p.m. So the time time taken by the lorry between this time, of course, you're going to get the difference. This is a 12.15 minus 8.15 and this will be 4 hours. That was the time taken by the lorry. And the next thing we are going to do is to get the distance covered uh, within this time. So the distance covered, distance covered by the lorry, distance covered by the lorry within these four hours. Distance is given by speed times time. So distance is speed times time. So the speed of the lorry, of which now we know, the speed of the lorry is 60 kilometers per hour. We have got that times 4 hours. So this, this should give 240 kilometer. So this distance, therefore, this distance is 240 kilometers. That distance is 240 kilometers. So in order to get the time, the time the car left on M, we are going to obtain the time taken by the car within this distance. The time taken by the car uh, within this distance of 240 kilometers. So time taken by the car. So time taken by the car within 240 kilometers will be given by time is given by distance over the speed and this is given by the distance which is 240 kilometers the speed of the car remember um, Remember the speed, speed, we're going to obtain the speed somewhere, the speed is here. So if the speed of the lorry is given by 60, <coughs> 60 kilometers per hour, therefore the speed of the car, which should be x plus uh, 20, well, that one should give uh, 80 give 80 so this one divide by 80 kilometers per hour so this will give us the time taken by the car within this our uh, distance of 240 kilometers that the lorry covered uh, before it was overtaken by the by the car so working out this um, this should give three hours. That was the time taken by the car in this distance. And to now get the, the time the car left on M, we will simply take the time, uh, the time taken, that is the time this uh, lorry was overtaken, which was 12.15, PM, and then we subtract the time taken by the car within 
this time 8 15 and 12 15 so we subtract three hours these will now give us the time the car left town m and when you work out these we shall get 9 15 am so that is how we were supposed to work out that question on linear motion so thank you so much